This is your first option for an arena. It's a 400 block long platform that has two stair shaped extensions each using 20 blocks on either side of it. The stair shaped extensions each have a 40 block long platform that goes back to the original platform. This is your second option for an arena. It's just one 1500 block long platform. Although the second arena option is simpler, my recommendation would be to use the first one because that one can be used for an indefinitely long period of time. By contrast, the second one can be very inconvenient as you may not be able to defeat King Slime before reaching the edge of the platform. When it comes to accessories, you really don't need much. I used the Cloud in a bottle because it's very helpful for mobility, but this isn't really required. I didn't even use Hermes boots since if you use a swiftness potion, you're still fast enough to outrun King Slime. For armor and buffs, you really don't need much for King Slime. I just had a basic set of wooden armor and a well-fed buff with swiftness. The only exception is Summoner where I used the Flinks for a coat. As for weapons, for melee I used the Thorn Chakram. For ranged, I used the Tungsten Bow with Frostburn Arrows. For Mage, I used the Emerald Staff. And for Summoner, I used the Snapthorn as my whip and the Finch Staff as my summon. For mage, you could also use the Wand of Frosting, or any other of the Piercing Gem Staves. For summoner, you don't have to use the Finch Staff as your summon, I just used it as my summon because I was able to obtain it. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get on to the fight. To be honest, King Slime isn't the most complex boss, but I'll still explain his attacks to you. So, his only attack is jumping but he does jump in a specific way throughout the course of the fight. The first two jumps are normal height, the third jump is a short jump, and the fourth jump is a very tall jump. And as his health gets lower, King Slime gets smaller, and he becomes faster. At the end of the fight when his health is the lowest, you do need the Swiftness Potion to be able to outrun him without Hermes Boots. This isn't really an attack, but sometimes King Slime will seem to disintegrate and he'll really appear somewhere else. This is his teleport. Just watch out for it and you should be fine. This mainly only applies to you if you're using the cloud in a bottle, but if you have to backtrack through the slimes that King Slime has spawned, Umbrella can come in handy. You can also use a mana regeneration potion for mage and or an archery potion for ranged, but it's really not required. And with that, that's basically it for King Slime. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.